brought to you by Franklin County Redneck Committee on YouTube. Enhanced and mobile advertising on Facebook. I've been pulling grass clippings from around this dead tree. Uh, we've got a neighbor who likes to dump his grass clippings around this tree. So I've been coming over here and shoveling it up, putting it in my coats. Now I know a lot of people think that that's a good idea. To some extent, this is a good idea. But I also want to point out that this builds up after a time. And if you're not using it after this, like pulling it up using it as compost. This is a, a breeding ground for insects. So all winter long, they're sitting inside of this and they are hibernating. And when spring comes out, that's when you're gonna have insect problems. So I wouldn't suggest you do this. If you do do something like this, just make sure that it's gone by March, which this is March right now. That's what I'm doing. trees okay so this is where I'll be pulling up dirt and transferring it over to the garden when I get some last video shots of it before I dig it up for a before and after this is also going to be the vegetable garden so, getting it all ready Okay, my battery's running low on this, but I also wanted to show that I'm going to be cutting this tree down, trimming all this up around this tree, cutting this tree down, this one, all of these, and these, this tree right here, all of this is going to be cleared out, and I'll be using the wood for building my trellis. Get a floor pitcher and after or a couple of pictures. And we'll see what this looks like after I'm done. Okay, I got all of these trees I sawed down. I used this handsaw. On this, I chipped off two pieces. That was about maybe that much all together. I got them down. That one's gone. Cut that one off. These are down. And then the big boy. Got that one taken down. Goes up. So. So now, yep. this one is my aftershock, which I'm going to come over here and do it afterwards, so I don't mess up. But here is what is left. I'm going through and I'm cutting up, 
cutting the branches off the trunks. I'm going to be using the trunks. Get my after shot. And I still have some trunks here that I'm going to use. And these two right here. I'm going to use these for making trellises. what I'm going to do. Okay, this is the beginning to, uh, for my for my first day digging by the compost pile uh, or my wood pile. And here's the dirt that I've gotten so far. Let's see the compost pile over here. This is an interesting little setup that I found on just barely shallow. Add that down here. And like I said, it's my first day. Here's a pile of trash from my first day of digging by the compost or the wood pile, compost pile, so the garden is going to be set in. And so far, this is all the trash that I heard the stuff that I pulled out of the garden. Well, I'm telling it, you pull the dirt out, putting it into the trunks or the trellis, not trellis, but the grow beds. Okay, this is to catch you up on the amount of uh, st stuff I pulled out of the ground. This came out of that right there. That, digging all that. So, that's what I pulled out of. And I'm going to show you some more uh, stuff that I have. Now this is some of the stuff that I pulled out of my garden and from the hoppers when I put dirt from the garden into the hoppers and I've got, or I had so many of them that I actually had to start dropping them. Or dropping the garbage or the, the throwaway stuff down next to the, the, the totes. So I'll give you pictures of those. Here's some of the stuff I pulled out of the garden and I just put it right here. I have to rake this up eventually get it out of here. Now, over here is another pile. Ahead, and I'll do the same with this. Now, over on these totes, go all the way here. Right back here, I've got some here too. Most of it was charcoal. But where I'm digging at used to be a, a building, a structure, and uh, it could be from the roof with the roofing and stuff like that that clumped up became uh, like a coal. But a lot of it looks like coal. Okay, that's all I got. Okay, now this is the dirt that I've been digging off of and putting the hill, hills up in the garden. <clears throat> Taking a picture of that. Showing the moisture underneath there. Now I'll show you the holes of that. Okay, I was able to pull all of that up away from the back part of the yard. 
know about potatoes. This is all that's left now. <clears throat> and I gotta pull these up too. This is from last year when I was working on all that. But that's what I got left over there. And the grass and dirt covered up a lot of stuff in here that I gotta go back through. I'm gonna end up making this a grow bed. I'm gonna pull all this dirt up here. We'll end up going over there. Okay, we're in the front yard, and these are all of the bricks that I pulled up out of the back right there when I was cleaning that and was able to finally mow all that down. I brought the rose thing up here too. I'm gonna end up doing a garden in the front yard. This is what the yard looks like now. I'm gonna do a walk around. So, doing a walk around the side of the yard, the south side of it. Got my garden going. This is from last year. This is, I've done this two years in a row now. It's, I'm starting the second year. That's all the wood that I uh, just cut down today when I did the mowing. This is the dead tree limb fell off of there. These are totes. This part of the yard doesn't look the best, but it's better than what it was. These are all the containers that I had where I was trying to grow cherry trees. And that's my old grow box. I used to have it sitting there, but I ended up putting it in the ground. There's more pots with cherry seeds in them. This is cantaloupes, garlic and onions, and ginger. Ginger down there. Possibly uh, kiwi and strawberry. Gotta wait and see if it grows. Used, the squid is going to be used to make the backyard, and then maybe another one right along this way. A water heater we just took out and replaced with another one. With a refrigerator. Now we've got a G GFCI. I think that was already in the last walk around of the house I did. Cut that down to see it too. Get all these. I also had to dig all of this up and bring the water line in here. I did not insulate a piece of wood and stuff like that. Yeah. I can see if I can get 
up down here where I can turn all the water off from there instead of the water. Gotta get all that cleaned up. This is where I was just showing. I pulled that out of the backyard. <clears throat> there you go. You can go around the back part is part of the yard too. Yes. Got this set up here. Mom, get in and out. I don't know if that was on my last walk. I haven't done it in years, so I figured I would. Pull down the guttering. This is what I've cleaned out the ground to a bar from checking the dirt and replacing it. Cut down some trees here. Okay, so this is the new prog or the progress on the new beds that I'm getting ready to put down. The issue I have here is I've got gravel down in this area, and I've got to get this up before I can put the wood down over the top of it. Now with that gravel, I went ahead and decided I'm gonna use the pickaxe here to soften all that up, dig it out with a shovel, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna lay the, the branches down and over here, I'm gonna just go ahead and make this a uh, raised garden and put something in it. And there'll be a fence, a deer fence running back in there over to that mess, which I'm gonna clean up. And then it's gonna run that way. So, I tried to put the dirt out like this and it didn't work out because just from digging it up, this is how much dirt I was able to uh, came up out of here. And that's gotta be transferred to that side of the yard. I'm going to use dirt over there, put on top of here like I did with the rest of it. Get a couple of pictures. And this is uh, actually in uh, zone six. Um, it's in uh, May, I believe, May the 19th, uh, 2018, in southern Illinois. I gotta remember to keep saying it in my videos. Okay, this is the progress we made, plus setbacks. We got some flooding, and uh, probably uh, had these out. Use pork cut sorting, gravel, and getting out of all the stuff out of the dirt here. That is dirt in the bucket. There's gravel over here. And this is what we were, plan were planning on doing with those pots and the pool. Putting the pool in here. When I uh, put the uh, uh, forget me nots and those co coxcombs in, in here. Put the coxcombs on the inside, I believe. And, or no, the other way. Yeah, on the inside and then the forget me nots on the outside. And this is going to be for rosemary. When they grow up, we're going to separate them and move them around. And we're debating on what goes there. We also have roses, and I'm thinking over there by the tree would be a better place because it's on the south, uh, south, southeast side. And they'll get full sunshine here. Can't see much sunshine because we just had a rain. But. We're just now getting started with the garden at the front garden. It's going to be for the flowers. And I'll be tilling all this up and making it into the garden. And there's the rose. This is for roses. We're going to set that in. Take pictures just in case I forgot to.
Okay, this is May the 26th in Zone 6 in Southern Illinois, and here I'm showing an update on the gravel Robert sifted out of the dirt. He uh, started using this bucket right here instead of putting it in the totes or in the tubs over there. And so far, this is he's pulled off. We'll give it a shot and see how long it takes before he gives up on doing that. I tried it about three years ago and I, I, it was just too much for me. Okay, see how, see how the soil is? Okay, it went through the process of filtering out particles, metal, and glass. And you see how much uh, from the last time, the base of the until now. You see this bridge coming in here? For the height, you want to do it, and you get something like this. Where dirt falls through, but rock and that don't. And you need something to go across, because that's what I have. That's what I do, and it's just pretty good. Okay, and, and garbage can, it's just like this. Okay, after uh, finishing with the digging for the tomato garden, this is how much I have for uh, stuff that I pulled out of the ground. This is garbage and stuff like that. Coal, it's coal. And this is dirt and roots and stuff. So that's what I got. Okay, this is an update on my garbage cow, what I dug out of the ground so far. And this is a April 1st, I believe. It could be uh, May 31st. Okay, it's June the 12th, 2019, Zone 6 in Southern Illinois. This is an update on the dirt hill. I finally got the green down. Now it's time to finish my grow bed. I'm gonna finish this one. It had two layers of dirt up to here. Finish that and the third one. And that one too. And that one. Okay, now this is where I'm going to do my first tomato garden. It's going to start at the edge here. Come all the way to here, I'm going to have a little bit of a walkway walking between this garden and this garden. And then I'm going to take this dirt and I'm going to use it to make a growing bed over there for peppers. And then after I get uh, chicken wire down in here and the fence line started there I'm running across there I'm going to put down dirt that dirt over there okay after I get the uh, chicken wire underneath here I'm running that way and chicken wire underneath there and then running in between on the gardens well, I'm not going to do that yet. First, I'm just going to take this and put it there and then dig this out and freaking have that right there put over there. And that's going to be my tomato patch. Yeah. So I figured I would do that first. I should get it before and then after the picture. I'll even get a picture of the dirt. Okay, so we've got the, or I got the chicken wire put down here, going across, and down under, 
like I wanted it. And got it going to there. Now, after I did all of that, I was able to see how much chicken wire I've got left. It looks like I'll be able to go all the way around the rest of the shed right here. So that's a good thing. Now after I'm done with that, I'm going to run uh, deer fencing that way across and pull this down into here and make a growing bed out of it. I should have all of the bottom part of the shed on all the way around covered or have chicken wire down underneath it. Okay, I finally got the fencing in. I put chicken wire on this side of the house. here and then right here we put ear fencing it goes all the way down and it goes to the end of the uh, cantaloupe garden and over to the shed and I finally got the chicken wire down like I said dug out a trench here and finished the finish the chicken wire underneath her. I didn't do the back, I'll do that later. Deer fence, I wanted to get as close to it that way you can actually see the fencing. Uh, it started it there at that point, ran it across here, and ended here. very hard to see. This deer fencing is good, but the only problem is it's almost invisible. So if you put it up, you might want to put something up on top. I'm thinking about putting string across and then put it in to like a lawn. But it's almost impossible to see. The birds have been hit. Now with the fencing up, the dogs get to run free. Robert's got naked little dog sitting next to him. Yeah, I took your picture. Alright, it's April 1st. I might have my fencing up. Got some chicken wire right here around my tomatoes and around my lettuce. It comes to here. It's not really that great of a fencing job, but got it done at least. And that's what it looks like here. It turns. Here it turns. And then I have it running all the way down to the outside. And like I said, it's not pretty. So I have a meeting up with this. Around here, I finally put string on the top. I replace this with a pole and sit it right here to hold this up, keep this straight. And I put string up on top of here. 
I'm going to probably have to galvanize pipe up too because apparently it's not just groundhogs and rabbits and uh, squirrels and skunks that we got to worry about. We've got our freaking uh, or a, a pit bull that's coming over here and jumping up and knock the fence down. So, finally got string around this. Get a picture. So I've got all of that covered. And I'll show you the other side. Hey, I just showed you the southwest side of the house, the backyard. And this right here is the northwest side of the backyard. I got a rope tied up here. And running across all down there. And I have to clean all this out. Get it set it's right now. And that is it. The other day, that freaking dog got through here and he ended up getting some of this broken. I could have also been some trash. Franklin County Redneck Committee on YouTube and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.